hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of cool and simple techniques inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute long, background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then I am going to select um, my um, uh, text tool over here and I am going to type my text and I am going to choose motion text and for the font i'm going to choose oswald but you can choose any font you want and i'm going to choose black color now select this color press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the character menu and we are going to decrease the distance between these alphabets we will increase the font size somewhere around like this and we are going to choose fox italic font now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now select this text press ctrl d to duplicate it select this second layer press s and increase the scale somewhere around like this go to the character menu and we are going to delete this fill and we will add stroke and for the stroke width i am going to choose 0.3 or let's say 0.1 like this okay now we need a small amount of animation over here so i'll select this first layer press s create one keyframe then i'll go to around five seconds and i'm going to make it one one zero so as you guys can see we are getting a little bit animation or let's make it 120 a little bit like this okay then i'm going to select this text press s create one keyframe go over here and i'm going to over here let's say decrease the size of this text like this so we will get this opposite animation okay now press ctrl y to create one solid background and we are going to choose white color for it and we will move this downwards okay and hit u now after that press ctrl y again and we will call it as bg and we are going to name this black color and we will move it downwards select this layers now select both these layers press ctrl shift c and we will call it as motion okay now after that i'm going to select this layer i'll go to my rectangle tool and i'm going to create one mask on it like halfway through it somewhere around like this now i'm going to select this hit ctrl d then press m and alpha i mean inverted mask over here now select both of these layers and press p for position create one keyframe then go to somewhere around one second i'm going to select this layer and let's move this downward until it's gone out of this composition then select this layer and let's move this over here until it's gone out of this composition now select those keyframes and hit f9 then go to the graph editor we will select this graph by holding shift we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here so if you see this animation we will get something like this and if you think this animation is quite uh, fast so you can increase the distance between this animations up to 120 frames now after that i'm going to select these layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring all of them downwards and with the help of open square bracket i'll move them up to here like this okay so if i see i'll get move this over here and let's bring this layers over here like this okay and hit u and we are going to select this keyframes and we'll move them over here like this okay similarly now select this motion layer over here and hit ctrl d and over here hit enter and let's call it as design now double click to open this comp now over here we are going to change the text i'm going to type design over here i'll copy this text for this one also i'll copy this i'll delete this fill and add stroke 0.1 
select this and make sure that this text should be on center with the help of align center you can align it properly now i'm going to select this motion layers and by holding alt i'm going to replace it so if i see this now i'll get this motion then this design okay now similarly we are going to select this design text we will hit ctrl d we will bring this downwards and now we will move them over here now hit u so we will get like this now we will select this design comp we will hit ctrl d so we will get the design to hit enter and let's type is which means ease double click to open this go inside this and type is and make sure this is on center control alt home similarly over here i'm going to type is select this and make sure that this text should be properly at the center like this and control alt home is must okay like this then we'll go to the main animation we will select this last layers and by holding alt i'm going to replace it okay so i'll get this now hit u again now select these two is layers hit ctrl d and let's bring them downward and we will move them over here and hit u now select this is hit ctrl d and by holding alt sorry but before that select this hit enter and let's call it as best now select this two layers by holding alt i'm going to replace the layers and go inside this best layer S select this text and type best align tab alt control alt home similarly select this text type best align tab control alt home okay so if you see this now we will get this animation this animation this animation and this animation now over here we have to repeat our first layer over here so i'll select this layers and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring them downward over here like this hit u and we will bring this over here but over here i'm going to delete those keyframes like this okay now over here another thing we need to do let's do that first now select this uh, initial layers of this motion and hit u and i'm going to select those keyframes and i'll move them somewhere around over here 120 frames because my last keyframe is over here so i'll move this keyframes over here and then i'm going to select all of these layers and i'll move them over here like this because i want this animation in the form of loop now i'll press b over here so animation will start over here then this animation should end over here so hit u and this is the last keyframe of this so i'll hit n so now if i see this animation i'll get this animation continuously in the form of loop like this okay now we need to apply tint effects on it so let's select this motion layer first i'm gonna go in effect and presets panel and i'll apply tint effect on it let's double click to apply and let's choose red color over here swap this color let's say so copy this tint effect and apply this to this also like this i'll copy this tint effect for this motion text over here because this is the last one should be the same for this design text i'm going to apply this you can swap this color or let's say i'm going to choose this purple color let's swap this copy this tint effect and apply on this one also like this then apply a tint effect over here instead of black i am going to apply bluish color swap this copy this tint effect apply on this one now for the best again apply tint effect let's choose somewhere around like orangey swap this color ctrl c ctrl v like this over here for the motion let's say uh, let's choose somewhere around something like this and copy this color code i'm going to apply this like this similarly 
I'll copy this color code over here. So if we see this animation, we'll get this animation continuously in the form of loop. And if you want, you can select the like as you guys can see, we have this two layers over here. You can swap this color for this different out result for this one. I'll swap this one over here. Similarly, for this one, I'll swap this one. Swap this one. Swap this one like this. Oops, I did mistake. I have to swap this one for this. Okay, so now if I see this animation, I'll get this animation continuously in the form of loop. Okay, so this is how you can create this animation. Then after that, if you want, you can select this. You can go to the drop shadow effect and double click to apply let's go somewhere around over here so you can see this drop shadow effect simply increase the softness to 200 copy this control v simply select all of these layers and hit control v so we will get this kind of stuff like this but as you guys can see we are getting a little bit trouble over here so i would prefer to not apply this effect this looks good over here okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation if you want this text is little bit small then you can simply create a new adjustment layer and uh, i'm or mean null object you can make all of them parent to this null press s and increase the scale a little bit so you will get this kind of continuous looping animation